The poor viper pet, oh boy. What's up guys, how's it going? So as you guys know, I've been MIA for, uh, for a few weeks now and most of that's due to the detailing business. It's been extremely busy, which has you know, been absolutely awesome, but it's been uh, a little bit stressful, but um, it's, you know, hard work is paying off, so I'll leave it at that. Anyways, guys, I am happy to be back. I'm happy to be making some more videos again. I'm get, definitely getting some more free time to make some more videos, so that is good. The Viper Pet here is le actually just over a month away from the last race of the season. Hopefully you go out there again and kick some more butt. But this time it's going to be a bit of a challenge, you guys. So for those of you guys that don't know, um, I sold off one of my pets, the Corvette Pet as you guys know, which had this small bore motor on there. The small bore motor is now on. The Viper Pet and the 460 that was fully built on here blew up. I basically rebuilt, basically it was a brand new motor now, and I just sold that off, and the reason why I did that is because I've downsized to where I have just one race ped as well as the race cart. So what's going to be happening this last race of the season, as well as a whole next season of racing, is I'll be racing on a 32cc small bore case reed motor. And now this is basically to give, in my opinion, everybody a fair chance so we don't have anybody crying saying, oh, you got sponsors, you got all this money, you got the fastest motor built up. I'm going to hopefully prove that um, it's all in the rider skill, hopefully. So I'll be racing the small bore motor. Hopefully everything stays together on it. Hopefully it runs great for me. Hopefully there's no motor issues. Uh, we shall see. But, All right, so since I've been away for the last few weeks, I've bought a few things. I have another item that's going to be coming. I'll get that in here in a second. But you guys can see in here, I got a brand new race pole. If you guys no probably noticed a second ago, there is no more beautiful Hollywood pole on this scooter. Um, for some of you guys that may or may not know, I recently sold that for a very pretty penny. Um, it was a little bit less than I'd like to sell, have sold it for, but nonetheless, it was still a nice chunk of change. And the reason why I did that is basically tying up some funds in the scooter right here that I could use for the business itself. So I decided to sell that off, put a couple extra bucks in my pocket, and just invest in a, a stock DDM race pole, or just a basic race pole, I guess you could say. I don't know. Anyway, so investing in that, that will be going on the scooter here. Uh, also picked up this is kind of cool. This is something I heard about and I decided to pull the trigger on and give it a go and I'll tell you guys here right now why I did. But for those of you that don't know, this is um, done by Top Secret. This is their conversion kit so you can literally run a 78 millimeter motor mount with a 78 millimeter clutch on a small bore RC motor. I have yet to try this. I have yet to say I love it or I hate it. Who knows what I will definitely give you guys my 100% honest feedback on what I think of that, but pretty much honestly the biggest reason that really kind of pushed me to invest in this right here is if you guys don't know, this 54 millimeter motor mount here doesn't have a chain tensioner on there. I love having a chain tensioner. I don't like having to worry about my motor slipping back and loosening up while I'm racing, then my chain comes loose and pops off and just bad stuff happens. So that's a, a big thing for me. So I bought that right here. I'll be um, getting that all set up here real soon. Also, picked up this little locking headset mechanism here, which I'll be installing when I put the race pole on. Picked up two of them here. One's gonna be for the Bugatti ped, and one of them here is, of course, for the Viper ped. So I'll be putting that on as well when I build it all up. Not gonna be doing that today. I am. I just ordered up a new, uh, another 78 millimeter motor mount for this guy, a billet one, that will be going on this scooter. So I can race um, basically this um, motor with the, this little mechanism. You know, the whole setup right here for the 78 with the 78 millimeter clutch. Well guys, that's all I've got for you guys today. I will be getting this all together really soon. Uh, the Bugatti pet will be coming out really, really soon. <clears throat> Hopefully I'll be able to get it out this week. I wanna take it, run it around town a little bit, um, get all the cobwebs you know, aired out of that, maybe do a little burnout video with that guy, get it all race ready, as well as get this guy all up to par. So, that's all I got for you guys today. Thanks for watching, you guys. As always, don't forget to like, don't forget to give a big old thumbs up, and I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching.